You can help us learn more about the way you play and what difficulties you encounter in game. Would you like to enable sending the game statistics? Okay, so what this basically is, is can we take your information and sell it to people who are going to learn how to make purchasing microtransactions uh, more attractive to gamers? Because it's not like, we're oh, we're going to use this information to figure out what difficulties you have and how we should change the game, because that's just called doing a fucking Google search. People on the internet are always bitching about shit in video games that they don't like. You don't need to take our fucking game data to figure out what people don't like. All you're gonna do is sell this to some asshole who's gonna figure out how to fucking sell me more goddamn land plots in Farmville or some bullshit like that. No, fuck off. This dude looks like he's been high as fuck all day and he just came out of the forest and saw like a Waffle House or some shit. Why is this a character portrait option? Okay, we got our portrait set up. Paladin doesn't have the following features. Atheism. I mean, aren't the gods provably existent in this game? So how could... Atheism wouldn't really make any sense, would it? I hate it when you play RPGs like this, especially role-playing games on the computer where it's like, yo, here's 17 different classes to play, pick one, before I've even seen how the game plays. How am I supposed to know which one of these is gonna fit my playstyle if I haven't even seen anything? Like, make a tutorial where you have a party of different people, and it's like, here, do a little tutorial match. It's like a flashback from 10,000 years ago, and you play as these old heroes, and you get to see how each of them play before you make your character. That way I know, I have some context for what the hell any of these things are before I get three hours into the game and realize I really don't like the class my PC is playing. Okay, obviously we're dumb as shit. Uh, but we're attractive. Okay, so we're good at seeing stuff and talking to people. We're good at hitting things. And we're not good at thinking real hard about stuff. That's good. Their life ends here! Well, that's... that's pretentious. I'll carve my name onto your flesh. That's cringy. <laughs> Who are the Eldori anyway, Richfuck? Why are you here if you don't even know who these people are? What makes you think we'll even succeed? There's little point arguing over who gains the title when we'll most likely lose our lives there. Well, that's the most depressing fucking thing I've heard all day. Why don't you just go home and sob in the corner if you're gonna be so defeatist about every fucking thing? We have need of a ruling power we can negotiate with, not bandit gangs and monster hordes. Okay, well, that's an, that's an easy thing to say, but whoever becomes the Baron is the one who just beats the shit out of a bunch of bandits, which means they're probably not a bureaucrat or a politician and probably don't know a whole lot about ruling a country, which means it would be very easy for you to manipulate me into doing whatever it is you wanted me to do. And what reward would you seek beyond a noble title and your own lands? I don't know, maybe money instead of a giant fucking responsibility? Though, this is my first real adventure, so shall we go teach this stag lord a lesson? Well, that sounds like a wonderful idea, Lindsay. I'm Gigi Dandy. Likewise. Actually, I also wanted to ask you something. Ask away! I think you should be team leader. When I first saw you, I couldn't help but think, now here's a real hero. Someone who'll be praised in poems and songs. This... This is the person I'll write my book about. Okay, she's either trying to trick me or she's just really horny. Because you just met me, woman. I like this. I like it when games do this, though. They make the... Like, the quests and everything is is a part of the actual story, because it's what one of the characters is writing it. That's... that's clever. It's like, yeah, sights are cool, but they're not... they're not really good for fighting people with. It's like an axe, but... But it's hard to hit someone with it. Sights are like... if you took a, a spear and bent it a bit. What is happening? The mansion's under attack! We need to help! Oh no! 
I see. Oh, that was easy. Oh, you were just standing right outside the door and you didn't do anything when that guy came in to murder me? You're just in time. But it's all right now. I'm safe, sound, and unscathed, ready to lead you to victory. I get that I'm supposed to not like this guy because he's kind of a douche, but... He's too ridiculous for me to consider him any kind of threat or obstacle. I mean, I could just sort of lightly nudge him on the forehead and he'd fall over. He's like three feet tall. Anytime you play an RPG, whenever you kill someone, you just take all their stuff and their clothes and everything so that you can sell it later. But what if there was a movie or something where you did that? Could you imagine watching Die Hard or something and every time Bruce Willis killed someone, he just stripped them butt naked, so that it's like, I'm gonna go take this stuff to the pawn shop later. There are also some video games where stealing is different from taking something. It's bad, you can get a bounty if you steal something, but if you just take it when they're dead, it's not stealing, but isn't that kind of worse if you kill someone and then take all their stuff? That's like corpse looting. People, people don't like that. Is that a cat? I, I want to put the cat into my inventory to save for later. Well, that sucks. Oh, it's you. Stay up from under my feet or I'll strike you down. Is this what women actually want in video games? Is these, like, brutish barbarian women that are just super aggressive and and just want to beat the shit out of everything is is that what women want like is this the feminist ideal as i'm just saying if this was a dude we'd be calling him like a boar or a meathead or a dipshit or something you know it's the big stupid fighter like why blood for gorum Oh, she's an adherent of Gorum, which is the big, stupid god of being really dumb and hitting Barbarians. things. That makes sense. I think that's exactly how heroes should be. Well, uh, you're wrong. What, stupid, sweaty, and always looking for something to gobble up or lop the head off of? Calistria, save me from such heroes. I gotta hand it to you, uh, Fartuccio. You, you gotta, you got her there. Oh, that guy just got stepped on. Oh. The party suffers from light encumbrance. The party suffers from medium encumbrance. Unfortunately, I don't really know what those things mean, so I'm just going to ignore them. Assuming you value your life. Assuming you value your life. There were a few people in that. I see something. Three traps in a row? Who set these up? I thought they were in the middle of assassinating a whole bunch of people. Pause, it's like, yeah, we're gonna jump in here and assassinate all these people in this building, but we've also got time to put traps in a bunch of freaking hallways for some reason. You know, if you want to have a trap every six, like, meters, that's fine. Just have a reason for why there's a trap every six meters. I find it hard to believe that these assassins are so good that not only they can come in here and murder everyone, but they also brought and set up several traps in a random hallway also. You know, one of the reasons that you play Pathfinder on tabletop, uh, as opposed to on a computer, is so that you can have absolute freedom to do whatever you want, and video games come with certain limitations that you can't really do whatever you want, but, like, the trade-off is that there are cool combat animations, and, it, like, it does all the math and shit for you, but this game has me micromanaging, like, inventories and everyone's shit. And when actually, like, the combat comes into play, all they really do is just hit each other. It's not flashy or interesting or anything. So it begs the question, why the hell would you play this instead of just playing Pathfinder on tabletop? Or 
Really, why would you play this instead of literally anything else? Yeah, I don't even know if this is a puzzle or if I'm even supposed to be doing this. I think I saw some guards there. Join me there, if you wish. Uh, okay. Oh, this is that depressed guy. Yeah, stop being such a wuss. Oh, good. Speaking to a dying man that way. I suppose I must postpone meeting my god. Not for long, I'm sure. But while we remain in this transient world, Arim is at your service. This guy kind of reminds me of my dad, because the only thing he ever talks about is how all of his friends are dead and that he can't wait to go to heaven because all this cool stuff is going to be there. It's super depressing to, like, listen to someone drone on and on and on about, like, the afterlife because it's like, you, you realize it sounds like you have nothing in life to live for, right? You, run and get an axe. You, bring more water. You, stay here and hold our defense. Those assassins are still around here somewhere. You go that way. I'll go home. Some game events play out as illustrated book episodes. The decisions you make through these episodes can have a drastic impact. You get to make skill checks. You get to choose one of your party members to perform an action. Okay, so this is the kind of shit I'm talking about. The whole reason you play a video game instead of a tabletop RPG is so that you can see what's happening and have it be cool, like, on the screen. But... This is literally just, like, turned into a fucking text adventure. With pictures and everything. So, why the hell would anyone play this as opposed to just playing tabletop? The whole tear burned our lungs and our eyes watered from the smoke. But GG Dandy led us stubbornly through the flames. While Tarcuccio did nothing useful at all. She held a burned, barely living god in her arms. There were two more! She shouted as she passed by us. There were Tarcuccio grumbled something about how Jamandi was waiting for us, and something else about hemorrhoids. One of your characters is fatigued. This is just one of the negative conditions. Well, none of them look fatigued. Really? Like... Again, it's, it's like we're not... We're not using our imaginations anymore. It's okay to show what's fucking happening to the characters. It's okay to have combat animations that are a little bit more flashy than... Just flaccidly flinging your fucking sword around like it's a fly swatter and you're trying to hit a stubborn bee that got in through the chimney. The more I play this, the, the less I want to play this. Look at how boring this is. Look at how... Like, does it actually look like they're fighting to the death? Which one? Oh, Valerie. Where are you going? What are you doing? There's a fight going on. That's why he wasn't killed. The bandits recognized him as one of their own by this signet ring. Oh, you're trying to betray me now? I thought you wanted... What? I thought you wanted my help to... Okay, whatever. Yes. I'm afraid you're both under suspicion. Okay, well, why don't I just leave? Because this job seems like way more trouble than it's worth at this point. For all I know, they're all conspiring spies. Well, that's literally something you could say about every person on the face of the fucking planet. Just because we say or act a certain way doesn't necessarily mean that's what we're thinking or what we're capable of doing. I saw how he dealt with those creeps with my own eyes. A true warrior. I'd go with him through hell and high water. Yeah, so you have my back because you met me 30 minutes ago and you saw me kill some people? You know, that that's not exactly... Our leader showed his true colors. He forced us to break into the armory and rob it. No, I didn't rob anything. I'm a hero. I'm entitled to pick up anything that I find. How can someone who disregards authorities be a leader himself? Okay, uh, leaders don't disregard authority because they are the authority. They make judgment calls. That's the whole point. He was obviously hoping to show up too late and find you already dead. You're grasping at straws, dude. You're not gonna be like, yeah, he he's evil because he tried to save people from burning to death. Two teams will head out. That way, I'll know at least one group can be counted on to serve my interests in the stolen lands. No, how do you know there's only one spy? It's awfully presumptuous of you. 
Please allow me to join the expedition. Yeah, but you're on his team. I don't want your fucking irritating ass with me. Which of the two teams would you prefer to accompany? Tartuccio. If Tartuccio allows, I would join his team. Forgive me, but I don't appreciate your willfulness. Yeah, I know, because that's what feminists want, is men who are impotent and worthless. Act without wasting time helping every little pipsqueak. Those like Tartuccio. That's perfectly fine. Uh, if you'd have a problem with me saving people that are actually burning alive, then I really don't want you anywhere near me. I'm going with you. You're a hero worthy of my quill. Of course, Lindsay. I will never betray you until it becomes convenient for me to do so. I hope you can forgive me this precaution. Can... Is it too late to go get some other job? Because this is... This is really not worth the trouble. Wow, I, I just cannot bring myself to care about anything right now in this game. <laughs> Actual cricket noises during the battle. That's rather fitting, considering... A whack in the face will make anyone respect you. That's right. Fear is not the same as respect. Don't confuse the two. And that's a general rule for everyone, not just brutish women. This is extremely dangerous. Can you make an hey. epic pose? I need inspiration. Tear them apart! I'm the best at epic they go down. I seem to have met a ghost. What have what have you uh, ask ask of me, ghost? Once the fog clears, okay, whatever. I don't believe in fate, stranger. But our meeting seems more than a coincidence. What do you mean a coincidence? You came to I was sleeping! You came in the fucking room while I was sleeping and woke me up! Okay, well. This game is boring as hell. 